ओके सो हाई एवरी वन देर हेयर आर ट्वेल्व डॉमेटोलॉजी क्वेश्चन दैट आई कुड रिकॉल इन केस यू हैव एनी डिस्क्रिपेंसीज इन द क्वेश्चन यू कैन गेट बैक टू मी एट पैशन एट अंडर स्कोर डॉमेटोलॉजिस्ट इन फ्लाइट टू पिनेकल एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम आई फिनिश माई इंटर्नशिप इन नाइनटीन डिसम्बर एंड माई रैंक्स इन द जून एंड लाइक दे जून एंड नवम्बर एम्स एग्जाम दैट आई गेव वर फोर नाइनटी एंड सिक्स थर्टी फोर my neat pg rank in 21 that happened in 21 wasn't that impressive but it still was good enough to get me a government seat in dermatology uh, a good government seat in dermatology so um, the rest of it you can know at my insta handle so we'll start with the recall the first question i have recalled was i i have been able to recall was that hair dye allergy is due to so the answer will be paraffinylene diamine um they are very heavy on the allergens in us and uk i am glad that they are asking them in india as well now another question was painless ulcer and painless lymphadenopathy is seen in so this i have been able to recall only three options and chancroid obviously won't be the answer because the ulcer is painful here and in granuloma inguinal you do not have lymphadenopathy at all so the answer among these options should be syphilis now another question uh again this one is a partially is partially recalled some people are saying that they had given the history of coplic spots and they had asked the diagnosis some people are saying that they had given the image and they had asked what it was so coplic spots and measles were there in the exam today most likely now fourth question there are uh, two variants of this that i have been able to recall now the first one is um some people are saying that they had given a port wine stain and increased risk of glaucoma was what they wanted to ask some people are saying that they had given a giant melanocytic nevus and increased risk of malignant melanoma was what they wanted to ask now firstly all of you have recalled that the image was of a person's face giant melanocytic is nevus is not very commonly seen over face area if they wanted to show this they would have probably shown some other body part port wine stain is more likely to be seen over uh, facial area but this is not a very big differentiator if the lesion was black with irregular boundary and it looked somewhat like this it was definitely a giant melanocytic nevus or a congenital melanocytic nevus which has increased predisposition to convert to malignant melanoma but if your lesion was reddish flat uh it can be raised also but more flat more towards the flatter side then it was probably a port wine stain and increased risk of um glaucoma is what they wanted to ask so you'll have to probably help me with the recall more so that i can get it done uh like so that i can edit this uh, video or something now there was definitely an image of mulaskum a lot of you have recalled umbilicated papule was there and they had asked what it was the other options were kaposi sarcoma and things like that so kaposi sarcoma looks like this it's a very vas vascular lesion so it is reddish on the outside and it's not umbilicated at all now invasive candidiasis they had asked the drug if i had these options to me i would have gone for clotrimazole because azoles are the ones that we use against candida Grishofulvin and terbenafin would definitely not be the answer we know this from our knowledge of pharma that these drugs act over keratin tissue so you give them in nail disorders and you know over uh, for uh, cutaneous infections in the mucosal area the amount of keratin is very less so these are not these are not likely to be the answer among these two i would have gone for this but in case like you have anything to discuss or something just put in the comment box or you know get back to me at my id's now keloid there was a question about what grows on trauma so the answer here would be i think keloid most of you have recalled on trauma definitely keloid will grow the other option was hemangioma hemangioma i don't think it bleeds on trauma but it grows on trauma or something i don't think something like that happens and hemangioma anyways looks like this so i think what you guys had today was the image of a keloid now the other question was there was a picture of uh, this uh, there was this picture and they had asked the drug of choice for gonorrhea so according to the kits the answer should be either azithro or ceftriaxone and here because the closest is erythro so i would i would have chosen this as the answer now uh, kaposi sarcoma of oral cavity was given 
i mean some lesion in the oral cavity was given and they had asked the uh, answer like what will be the correct uh, which of the following is the picture of matlab to basically scc and bcc cannot be the answer because they will happen in sun exposed sites and mouth is anything but sun exposed although they can happen uh i had uh, if you would google the rare cases and see the images they do not look like this so in case the image was like this then it has to be kaposi sarcoma then dermatitis diarrhea and dementia was asked and niacin deficiency was the answer it's surprising uh i make very random reels but i had made a reel on this and i had also made a reel on this it's very surprising that i have made reels on two things and they were there in your exam so and then the very the most interesting question that i found was acne which is not resolving on multiple antibiotics and tretinoin what will be the next step so antibiotic resistance test due to hyperandrogenism dietary trigger drug see basically when you have a very resilient acne which is not getting cured on anything what they want you to rule out is tumors if there is any tumor which is secreting something and that is leading to the acne it is going to be very difficult to treat the tumor so i would have gone for hyperandrogenism and i would have ruled out like any uh, tumor which is producing testosterone or estrogen or something like that a uh, dietary trigger drug acne due to these reasons are very easy to treat and antibiotic resistance looks like a very lame option now they had given the picture of vaginal discharge but there was a cervical erosion as well there was not an ulcer there was a cervical erosion so basically when you have discharge in the cervical area it is going to trickle down and look uh, into your vagina as well so um i think that they really wanted to ask you about cervical discharge and in the question also they had given uh, like what will you give for the cervical problem so in case somebody just saw saw the image and uh, gave the answer they would have probably got it wrong they wanted to ask you about cervical discharge according to me and the answer would be great it so uh, that is all about the recalls from dermat for right for uh, the time being in just get back in touch with me and i'll update this